what I want to talk to, to you about today is the effect that the, the third lockdown is going to have on the property and more importantly for me personally, the, the mortgage and property finance market. <laughs> Property is about patience. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sam here, the property investors broker and owner of Grand Union Finance. Um, so, lockdown number three. Now, I was calling lockdown two the sequel. Um, I don't know what we're going to call this, the, the three call. Um, it's kind of a kind of a bit ludicrous now that we, we keep going into these lockdowns. Um, but I think the good thing is, is that uh, as a property community, uh, we're, we're starting to get a bit used to it. And the good thing that I'm finding is that property investors are trying to continue uh, going out there, buying property, continue getting the market moving. And they're not being phased by, on the whole, by the, the whole lockdown thing. Now, obviously, um, the coronavirus pandemic in the UK is a horrible, horrible thing that's going on both to the economy and from a from a social perspective as well. Lots of people um, falling ill and obviously losing their lives. So uh, we don't want to make too too much light of it. But what I want to talk to, to you about today is the effect that the the third lockdown is going to have on the property and more importantly for me personally, the, the mortgage and property finance. Now, okay. the positive news that's come out recently is ever since um, Boris went on um, a couple of days ago to announce that we were heading into a third lockdown, um, the government were very, very quick to release um, a list of um, jobs that could still go ahead and, and things that we were still permitted to do. And as per the last lockdown, there was um, a very, very specific part which uh, stipulated that the property market was still open for business, valuers were still able to um, enter for physical valuations people's homes, and estate agents were still allowed to go and do viewings. So all in all, sounded like really, really positive news for our property market. Things were open for business as normal. And I have spent the last couple of days speaking to lots of lenders, speaking to lots of solicitors, speaking to lots of surveyors about what they think is going to happen over the course of the next couple of months. Um, and I wanted to jump on and do a live video to share this information with you. Now, starting with estate agents, having spoken to a couple now, um, the main feeling I'm getting from them is that they're still pretty positive. Um, we are heading towards the end of this stamp duty holiday come the end of the first quarter, come the end of March uh, 2021. Um, and they still feel that as a result of that, People are going to potentially even put their health to one side uh, in order to go out viewing properties to try and um, beat that um, that stamp duty uh, deadline. So that should in itself push the market and continue to uh, to see the kind of transaction levels that we that we've been seeing, which is really really important. Um, what they have said though is sometimes if they are going to you know, setting up viewings for properties, sometimes where um, the there might be tenants in situ or potentially the owners are in the property and maybe they just, you know, they're a bit concerned about their own health. They have struggled a little bit already to set up some of these viewings and they envisage that becoming a bit more of a problem. So certainly the good thing is that, you know, so many estate agents were using the, uh, you know, the technology that was uh, um, made available for them, which was to do uh, um, online viewings and, and obviously videos um, of, of properties so that people can get an, an idea um, and they're only, um, you know, going in and actually viewing a property if um, if they're really, really seriously in interested. So it should limit the number of sort of time wasters, if you like, and, and make it a lot more um, safe. What they have said, though, is they are pushing for people um, who are interested to provide them with some kind of proof that they are actually proceedable, which makes it even more important to have your decision and principles ready. Or if you're buying a, um, an investment property um, or a development site, you know, having your heads of terms from a bridging lender or development lender is going to be absolutely vital um, to show proceedability straight from the outset. I myself are speaking to many agents at the moment on behalf of our clients um, to actually you know, reinstate 
that that they are proceedable um, and they are able to to move forward with the purchase should they um, want to put an offer in. So that's the that's sort of the 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 what I'm getting from the from the estate agents now. When speaking to surveyors, um, I'm getting a similar kind of story. The government has said, has said officially surveyors are able to enter people's homes. Um, however, some people don't want surveyors to be entering their homes. Uh, we at the moment have a, a case exactly that point uh, where we're looking at refinancing one of our clients' existing buy-to-let portfolio um, properties and the tenants there are refusing for the surveyor to come around you know, quite within their rights to do so. Um, and our client is negotiating with them some way of, of making, allowing this to happen so that we can continue with this, uh, this application. Of course, also on the flip side, some surveyors are not wanting to go into uh, to properties for their own health. Um, so some, you know, maybe are asking, you know, whether the people that are in the properties are vulnerable or whether they're, they're elderly or whether they are um, NHS workers, that kind of thing, we, who, who might, maybe be giving them the virus of their school teachers that kind of thing um so all in all there are sort of few i think there are going to be fewer sort of surveys going on um some surveys are going to be delayed some of the surveys are going to be cancelled some because of the people that are in the properties not wanting people entering their properties and some because the surveyors they're going to be fewer and further between on the ground you know we just had a survey um booked in for a bridging case that we're looking at where the 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 survey um isn't booked for another five days usually we get it booked in within two or three and they're stipulating that they're not going to be able to get the report back for 10 days afterwards um which is quite long in comparison. It just shows that the the length, the surveyors that are left on the ground are pretty busy at the moment, uh, although we are trying to negotiate with them to try and get that, that uh, time scale down a little bit. Um, on the, the mortgage side then, um, now, same as always, uh, mortgage lenders are sending out lots of messages at the moment to us saying they are open for business, but of course the workforce is at home. Um, so I don't know if you know, if anyone has any differing thoughts to this than, than me, um, but I am of the opinion that if you are working from home, you're never at 100% of your uh, productivity like you are when you're in the office um, even if you're even the best of us are probably at 97 98 at best so what this does mean is even when underwriters and and another and other people within lenders are working from home they're maybe not just quite working at the capacity that they would do normally so things are slightly slightly slower and there are of course some that, that won't be anywhere near what their usual capacity would be so of course that's gonna that's gonna slow things down to start with um, also with everyone working remotely the you know the, the communication between them is a lot trickier we have found that um, you know offers are tending to, to maybe come out a little um, and you know those lenders that don't have automated offer systems in place where somebody has to physically put them together the communication between the underwriter signing them off and then the offers actually coming in um, or being issued there is a bit of a lag time with some lenders um, and I think this is down to you know they're not all in the same building um, anymore they're all working remotely um, so I mean obviously coupled with the fact that there's, there's really, really heightened transaction numbers at the moment off the back of a, a really busy fourth quarter last year, um, that doesn't really help. And obviously they too have talked to us about the, the lack of surveyors on the ground, surveyors, surveyors, <laughs> I don't know why I say surveyors on the ground, surveyors um, in addition to the surveyors themselves telling us this. So they're also seeing um, surveys taking a little bit longer to get booked in and then a little bit longer to, to actually get the reports back as well, which just means that things are taking a little bit longer. But the positive things things are is all these, you know, the, the market is open. Um, there is lots of funding available. You know, we're into the trillions in terms of the funding that's available in the UK at the moment across mortgage lenders, bridging lenders, development finance lenders, you know, uh, private lenders. Um, so it's more funding that's ever been available, um, I think, in the history of, uh, of our economy, um, which is great news for investors because it does mean that um, you know all systems should be go so in terms of the outlook then for the next couple of months um, who knows when this lockdown is going to come to an end but one thing that we do know is that the Chancellor of the Exchequer has hinted many many times that the stamp duty holiday will be coming to an end so that does mean that I think that's going to boost our property market and transaction numbers for the next um, couple of months and three months at least as people are desperately trying to get those final purchases in uh, whether there's any sort of 
interme intermediate sort of um, extension, possibly with the um, uh, with maybe some kind of um, cooling off period, if you like, for those that maybe have exchanged uh, contracts but haven't quite completed. Maybe there might be a little bit of time over um, that the, the government will allow the stamp duty holiday to still um, stay um, in place for. But um, but we know it's going to be a busy quarter. The fact that view, um, viewings and, and, uh, and valuers are still able to go into people's homes is going to help us massively. So I think the outlook is still pretty uh, rosy. However, obviously there are going to be people that don't want to enter people's homes. There are going to be people that do want to you know, stay at home for their own safety. And I think that is going to have a, a minor knock on effect in terms of the speed of transaction. So I think um, wh whatever sort of part of the, the industry that you work in, or if you're an investor or buyer yourself, just be realistic with how quickly things can get done and have a little bit of patience um, with the people that you're working alongside, your agents and your broker, um, etc. You know, I'm telling my clients, please, please, please be patient with me. Um, we're working as hard as we can. We're working within the confines of the lenders, timescales, etc. So, um, look, um, if any of you have any questions concerning um, what's going on in the market at the moment, uh, please leave them in the comments below or please feel free to reach out to me. Um, one of the best ways to do so is going to be um, on Instagram at the Sam Norris um, or on uh, Twitter at the Sam Norris as well or obviously on Facebook. If you're watching this live, um, you can um, use the messenger facility there to contact me. Um, otherwise, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, hit me up on those other social media platforms and I'll definitely come back to you as soon as I can with answers to your questions. Um, but for the meantime, guys, look, stay safe. Um, you know, there's lots, uh, there's lots of opportunity out there. Um, so keep, keep pushing forward with your, uh, with your property uh, plans for this year. And uh, from me and little Harley, who's decided to come and sit on my lap for the last part of this, uh, this, <laughs> this video. <laughs> um, wish you good luck and good health and speak to you all very, very soon. See you later.